My next guest started her career as a registered nurse, then became a counselor, then a professional life coach, and now she's a best-selling author on Amazon.com. This morning, as part of our book series, we have Huena Su, author of Intensive Care for the Nurturer's Soul. Good morning. Good morning, Christy. Thanks for being here. Thanks for having me. Huh? It's a joy to be here. Uh, it's great to have you. Let's talk about your devotion and your joy to help others in life. You've spent so much of your life doing so. Tell me why. Yeah, I, I come from a family with four generations of doctors, nurses, and dentists, so it's in my blood. And now I, I coach people one-on-one -on -one and help them reduce stress, create more balance and inner peace. And I also present keynotes at different groups, you know, such as FDA, the American Cancer Society, oncology nursing conferences, and other corporations. So from nurturing others to a book uh, about nurturing yourself, very important to you. Yes, I'm actually on a mission to bring the message of self-love and intensive self-care to one million women nurturers worldwide. Wow, one million. And yes. let's talk about that intensive self-care that you write about in this book. Mm -hmm. What exactly is intensive self-care and can you explain how it affects our lives? Mm -hmm. Intensive self-care means taking good care of you physically, emotionally, mentally and spiritually. And it's important because we tend to over nurture. We tend to take care of everyone around us and not ourselves. True. And as a result, we stress out and we burn out. And the thing is, the one that we are trying to take care will suffer with us. And I say that intensive self-care is kind of like putting on your own oxygen mask first. And you write about putting on your own oxygen mask. If, if you could just flatter me and read that passage about how important it is to put on the oxygen mask, and we'll talk about the symbolism, symbolism behind it. Okay. Um, intensive self-care is not being selfish and it's not a luxury, but rather an essential practice for your survival and overall well-being. It's like putting on your own oxygen mask first before you help others put on theirs when the plane hit turbulence in midair. You wouldn't be of much use to your loved ones if you didn't put on your own oxygen mask first and then passed out. So true. Mm -hmm. So we really do have to put on our oxygen mask and take care of ourselves first. Yes. And that's first the message behind there. First and foremost. If not, mm -hmm. everything else just falls apart. Yeah. And I always say that you need to take good care of yourself because you are irreplaceable. This is true. And that brings me to the self-care deficiency. Mm -hmm. How do we recognize as women if we're suffering from that self-care deficiency in our lives? Mm -hmm. There are so many symptoms. You know, you could be having physical symptoms like you, are, you have chronic headaches, you have the pain in the neck or lower back, you have digestive problems, and you could be feeling scattered and you cannot focus, you are, you are always you know, stressed out and overwhelmed. A sense of feeling unhappy or um, sad or you, you snap easily. And I always joke that when women um, who feel like they are always having PMS, they have self-care deficiency. <laughs> <laughs> and if they have that self-care deficiency, you also talk about seven keys to, to taking care of that. Now, mm -hmm. we don't have time to go through all of them, but there's one that struck me from your book that talks about stop, drop, and roll. Mm -hmm. Explain that one to me. Yeah, this is one of my favorite keys in the book. And this came from a woman that I know. You know, she has two kids. She's always stressed out, and she feels like I'm always putting out fire. And so I joke that you need to stop, drop, and roll if you're on fire. And what I mean by that is that when you are stressed out, we tend to work harder and longer, and we, we run ourselves down. But instead, you need to stop and take stock of the situation, you know, take a break, take a self-care break. Then we can come back and do the 3D. That's the drop, you know, we have to either do it, delegate it, or dump it. Okay. Then we can shrink our to-do list. Then we can roll out an action plan to tackle your task. Excellent information. Thank you so much. I need to learn how to do that. Stop, <laughs> drop, and roll more often in my life. Yes. It's been a pleasure. Thank you so much. Thank you for having me. Again, the book is Intensive Care for the Nurturer's Soul, a great read. You can go to intensiveselfcarebook.com to read more about it.